would you help me in the bar that hey, day? Hey, John Murtha. I was I supposed to do? I had to get involved. happy for the excuse. Who are those people? I don't know. I think you're hiding something. Clearly. It kills everybody that I've ever cared about. How do you think that feels? Trust me. All too familiar. It's all too familiar. A friend of mine. Jigsaw. I dream about the Punisher every night. He thinks that he has the right to judge me. He does have a right to feel what I felt. Oh, this? It's Russo? We have a mutual request. I'll cast on the girl. That's original. So snack. I'm not the one who dies, kid. Not always. I'm the one who goes to kill him. That's right. That's some serious issues. Let me be what I'm meant to be. No problem. <laughs> all right i for one have to say that uh i have to say that <clears throat> excuse me honestly i actually like this uh this preview of uh season two of the punisher on netflix and and i for one have to agree that john burnt john Berthal brings frank castle to life without hesitation and without limitation actually uh <laughs> Uh, I'm really hoping that Netflix uh, really just wake up their eyes and knowing with the release of Punisher and having John Bernthal as the best uh, live action uh, Frank Castle to ever be known and for many Marvel fans to see. I also like the fact that um, uh, that, that season two is going to help uh, Billy Russo, a.k.a. Jigsaw, the Punisher's arch rival, uh, at his best becoming um, a ruthless uh, gangster and a, a bitter rival, uh, going without remorse about about Frank's death, um, being the Punisher and all that. But um, I, I am definitely excited to see season two come out on January 18th and see what Netflix is planning to do with keeping... Um, the Punisher and Jessica Jones shows alive, um, despite the fact that they decided to um, not do any more Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and even Daredevil shows, which is definitely disappointing because the Marvel Cinematic Cinematic Universe itself has had, you know, plenty of highs and uh, a short amount of lows um, given um, the hype they, they their movies uh, receives to fans and critics and the. Uh, the very amount, short amount of low is that uh, that doesn't mean that they're they're completely shitty movies, but it just means that they didn't live up to expectations. Like, um, like um, I'll just say a few movies in particular, uh, like Iron Man Two, uh, Thor: The Dark World, um, Iron Man Three, um, the Iron Fist, the the first season of Iron Fist. And let alone the the god awful Inhuman show, which very shot and stunned me when I got to see a few episodes, knowing this is not the true Inhuman show, Inhumans cast that I was expecting to see at all. Marvel can do better than this. I mean, they're that they're their best right now. And um, but with this show in particular, having um, an ensemble cast and uh, definitely bringing the comic storylines to life, let alone having. Um, an A-list actor such as John Bernthal bringing one of Marvel's most iconic 
and recognizable characters as um, a hero and anti-hero in, in particular. And it definitely says a lot um, that Marvel should not, that Marvel and Netflix should not give up hopes given the fact of how well received their shows have been given. But aside from that, I'm, I am I'm absolutely excited to see the second season come out and I really hope it gets um, renewed for a third season uh, without question. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I hope you guys uh, like the show as well when it comes out um, this coming Friday. Yep, and I uh, hope you guys have a good week. See you around.